facial serum that you can use on your skin for a tighter firmer looking skin if you find that you're starting to get wrinkles and fine lines if you're starting to have sagging skin if you find that your neck is getting a little softer I have the perfect remedy for you this remedy I'm gonna use all natural ingredient and I'm gonna whip it up together with some wonderful antioxidant ingredient it's gonna tighten firm the skin or boost the collagen production and before you know it you you're on your way to a younger, fresher, firmer looking skin. So if you're interested in today's video, continue watching. Now let's take a look at the main ingredient. Here I have some chia seeds and chia seed is actually amazing to use on your skin. Now take a look at the chia seed up close. Chia seeds contain omega-3 and is also loaded with nutrients that are great for the skin. It helps boost collagen production in the skin, promotes smooth clear skin, fight wrinkles, shrink large pores and even help with getting rid of acne. Just an amazing ingredient to use on the skin. Now let's move on to our next ingredient. And here I have some aloe vera gel. This is store-bought aloe vera gel, but you can choose to use fresh aloe vera gel. Now aloe vera gel is overall a great ingredient for your skin. Applying aloe vera gel to your face regularly will help to diminish the lines and wrinkles associated with aging and loss of elasticity in the skin. This is due to the simple fact that aloe vera contains both vitamin C and E, both of which are known to be vital for healthy skin and also help to improve natural firmness, leaving your skin soft, supple, and hydrated. Our next ingredient is rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is packed with natural beauty essential like anti-inflammatory fatty acids and vitamin A and C. These ingredients allow rosehip oil to treat signs of aging and pigmentation, hydrate skin and repair damaged skin and provide a strong protective antioxidant boots all without the oily feeling of a traditional liquid oil such as coconut oil. And moving on to the next ingredient and this is vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin can make your skin smooth and prevent other problems associated with dryness. Glycerin also locks in moisture in the skin. It helps to smooth out wrinkles and fine lines. So now that we have all our ingredients ready, let's move on. So to begin, the first thing I'm going to do I am going to boil my chia seed. Now I'm going to use about three tablespoons of the chia seeds, give and take. And next I'm going to add about two cups of water to the chia seeds. And then I'm going to place it on the stove top and I'm going to basically steam this for about five minutes. Now, once this is on the stove top and starting to boil, you got to give it a little stir. And then you remove it from the stove. After you remove it, you're going to keep stirring and take a look at what it looks like up close. Very gooey. And this is exactly how you want it to look. So what you're going to do next, you are going to put this aside to cool probably for about 10 to 15 minutes. And once this is cooled, this is now ready to use. Now this is what the chia seeds is going to look like after it has been cooled. And as you can see, it is even more gummy. So what we're going to do with our chia seeds, we are going to strain. Now you need to use a cheesecloth or any piece of a cotton cloth, an old marina, just anything that you have that could strain. And what you're going to do, place it over a bowl like I'm showing here. Make a little indent and then you're going to pour your chia seeds on. 
If when you make your chia seed it is too thick, you can choose to add another cup of water to it since we're only using the liquid. So add another cup of water if need be. Once you pour your chia seeds on the cloth, what you're going to do, you're going to close it up and you are going to squeeze. So keep squeezing. What we're squeezing out is the gel from the chia seeds. Note that this is going to take a while. Make sure the cloth that you're using is more of a sieve like or else you are going to take forever to squeeze it out you can also try a strainer with this okay now when you're done squeezing take a look at this this is what you're going to get you are going to get the gel from the chia seeds and this is what we are using to make our serum so we're going to take about three tablespoons of the chia seeds as a matter of fact i have about four tablespoons here and let me just use everything up And then I'm going to reach for my aloe vera gel and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of the aloe vera gel. Next I'm reaching for the vegetable glycerin and I'm using one tablespoon of the vegetable glycerin. I'm going to pour this in. I'm going to reach for some vitamin E oil. And I'm using 28,000 IU. So a little goes a long way. If you're using less IU, then use more. I'm using just a vial, around about a half of a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And next I'm reaching for my rose hip oil. And I'm using one teaspoon of the rosehip oil. I'm going to pour this in. Please note that you can use any of your favorite oil in this recipe. If you have oil such as marula oil, cake oil, argan oil, any of these oil can replace the rosehip oil in this recipe. Or you can choose to use several different oils. Next, I'm going to be blending to fully incorporate all the oils together and after blending take a look here we have our anti-aging skin tightening skin firming facial serum now this is an amazing facial serum guys to use both am and pm so i'm going to pour mine in a bottle choose a clean bottle preferably a glass bottle to store your facial serum in and this is it this is your serum so what i'm going to do next i'm going to go on the other side and i'm going to show you how to use this amazing facial serum on your skin for best result so here is our facial serum and you want to make sure to always give it a shake and you're going to take a little not a lot and you're gonna rub it in your hands and you're gonna apply it to your face and you're just gonna pat it in your skin remember this is a water base so it's not gonna be greasy you're just gonna pat it on and remember you're using this on clean skin as with all serum once you're done you're gonna let this hair dry now you do not need to use a moisturizer with this serum since it's already have the rose hip and the vitamin e oil once your serum is air dry you're good to go